when he came up, you came up. Mm -hmm. He was victorious, you're victorious. Amen. 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 Church, if we would just understand one thing, Jesus will never, ever leave you. He'll hold on to you. If you would just grasp on to that one thing, there's no situation, no circumstances in this life that can take you down ever again. Pastor, don't you get down sometimes? Yeah, yeah there's some times when I'm emotionally down. Mm -hmm. But I always go back to that day. Amen. I always go back to that moment when the Lord saved me, picked me up, and pulled me out and rescued my soul and my life. Last scripture, Ephesians 2. 15 through 20. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, that is the law of commandments contained in ordinances, so as to create in himself one new man from the two, thus making peace, and that he might reconcile them both to God in one body through the cross, thereby putting to death the enmity. And he came and preached peace to you who were far off and to those who were near. For through him we both have access by one spirit to the Father. Now therefore you are no longer strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, having built, been built on the foundation of the apostles, the prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Let me yeah. tell you something. When that man came up out of that well with that little girl, there was somebody waiting to embrace her. That's right. Her mother. Yeah. And her dad. You see, when Jesus went down and rescued you, he brought you up. And he presented you to the Father. He said, this is the child that I rescued. It was your child, Father. He had no hope where he was. But I went down under and I pulled him to me. I suffered all the pain, all the agony of getting to that point where I could rescue him. Now he believed in me. And he's your child. Here he is. You see, the whole world was connected Amen. by one little girl. Amen. Yeah. By the story of one little girl who needed rescue. That's right. You see, the whole world is connected to one Savior. One Savior. He's the only hope Amen. for all the world. Yes. And this is a Christmas season. We're going to celebrate an awesome Christmas. We can't imagine. Keep a focus in on what Christmas is really all about. Amen. The rescue of the human race. God's successful rescue of you and me. That's what it's really all about. This little girl has grown up. Since that day, she had 15 surgeries to repair damage to her. I like her testimony. She would not allow them to do plastic surgery on her. And this is her words. She said, every time I look at the scars, I remember the miracle Amen. Yeah. of my life in rescue. And I remember the people who went to great lengths to rescue me. You know, when Jesus rose from the grave, the scars were still there. Every time he looks at those scars, 
Amen. Every time he sees the nail prints in his feet or his hands, he thinks of you. He remembers your name. He remembers the pain that you're in. He knows what you're going through. Those scars could have been done away with. He could have been raised with no scars whatsoever. But I think it was God's way of reminding all of us that we do have a past. There's not a one of you in here that don't have some kind of past. If you're like me, some of it you don't want to remember. Amen. But there's one thing for sure. Your past has left scars on your life. Now you can do one of two things. You can choose to live in the past or you can choose to look at the scars and say, God, I remember the pain that I went through, but I also remember what happened when you saved me. I remember those scars that you took on your body for me. And that gives me the hope of knowing that one day I'm going to be delivered from everything. Everything. Even this life. And you gave me a promise in the Lord. You said you'll wipe away every tear. So I ask you, is there going to be tears in heaven? Yes, there's going to be tears in heaven. I'll tell you why. Because he's going to wipe them away. There was no tears in heaven. He wouldn't need to wipe anything away. But he will wipe away every tear. You know what that tells me? There's going to come a time you're not going to remember all the pain. You just remember. Jesus rescued my life. Amen. Let's all stand this morning.